The recent bomb threats against Jewish community centers across the country have put many on edge. But amid the hate, a silver lining, a show of unity has now emerged. Channel 2's Ryan Korsgaard joins us live tonight from the Jewish Community Center in Meyerland. Ryan? Bill, I'll tell you, if you go just inside the front door over here, you'll see stuffed animals and really signs of hope during a very dark time. This is the heartwarming response from one faith to another. The Muslim community sending flowers, stuffed animals, and cards to the Jewish Community Center in Meyerland following bomb threats here and across the country. My message is we're here. Uh, we're open, you know, 24-7. Uh, uh, we're going to continue to provide our programs and services. The community needs us. We need to continue to do and be who we are. This outpouring of love as the FBI heads up a nationwide effort to find those responsible for threats to nearly two dozen Jewish institutions on Monday and more than 90 since the beginning of the year. A Jewish media organization obtained one of those calls placed on January the 18th. In a short time, a large number of Jews are going to be slaughtered. Their heads are going to be blown off from the Shabbatna. The regional director of the Anti-Defamation League says finding those responsible is challenging, given the calls were placed using robocall technology. One of the challenges that the FBI is facing is that the, the uh, people behind these uh, calls are using sophisticated technology to mask the, A, their voice, and B, the origin of the uh, call. Hey, by the way, I checked with the FBI. They tell me they are still investigating. We're live tonight. Ryan Korsgaard, KPRC, Channel 2 News.